So, hello guys, and welcome to this new video. Today I'm here to present you the Biome Base Replacer 1.0. Uh, this is a filter I wrote yesterday. Um, it was um, made for, first of all, I should say who suggested it. Uh, that was Enemies Friends 22 and Neil 17 from the Conspiracy server. I will link to their, uh, to their channels down in the description. Uh, so yeah, Enemy was the one who suggested it to me, and then later on I went to Neil's and he gave me some more details about what they wanted. So uh, yeah, anyway, well, what Filter does is basically, uh, it looks, you can tell it to replace so certain blocks by certain blocks, but only within specific biomes. Uh, in this particular situation, we've got a couple of biomes. Uh, here we have, well, most of my world is desert. That's default uh, for the, uh, the preset, I think. And then you have ocean over here, mushroom island. Here you have mushroom island shore. And here you have desert again. So, um, yeah, well, I think it's time to go into MC Edit and see uh, what you can do with this filter. So, here we are in MC Edit. Uh, I quickly removed the cobblestone walls from the previous experiment. Um, so, you go to the Filters tab, you go to the Biome repla Base Replacer 1.0. It's kind of big here, but uh, for recording purposes, I have my MC Edit um, window kind of small. So, in, on, on any normal monitor, or computer it should be all right. Anyway, um, so let's show some of the things which this filter can do. Being, um, well, uh, let's just first of all do what we did before. So we're going to, we, you can select three bio, up to three biomes. I'm going to take mushroom island, mushroom island shore. As far as the edges go, I'm going to do thick edges. I'll explain this in seconds. And I'll also, let me quickly take a look. Uh, no, this box is just not go on the ground. Okay, so I'm just gonna do filter, and oh yeah, I didn't select. Um, it will replace all blocks for now, and it will place cobblestone. And yeah, there you go. Now to get the thing we got earlier, actually, we need also need to add ocean, and then we get that. So um, as you can tell, it's outlining it. That's what thick edges means. If we go for thin edges. Basically, it won't, these corners will be a bit different because with thick edges, it will um, replace a block if it's uh, basically if any of the eight spots around uh, are another biome uh, like this spot. Um, however, if you do thin edges, it only does it if one of the four, these four directions uh, go into another biome. So that's how that works. You can also do fill, which will just fill everything up, no edges. Uh, but I think I'm going for thick for the rest of this tutorial. Um, as far as other stuff goes, uh, we also have replace all blocks and that kind of stuff. So right now, if we were to make the box a bit larger, we could say uh, like this. It will replace all kinds of blocks if they're on the edge. And now if I were to remove this, you can see that it actually does remove uh, the, the uh, dirt in the ground. I will now go back because I don't want that to happen actually. Um, so now let's do that same operation again. Uh, the box is a bit sunk into the ground. So now if we do this and we say only replace air, let's, uh, let's quickly do a fill and replace cobblestone air. So you can see there's dirt under there right now, uh, but we're only gonna let it replace air by cobblestone. Then we press filter. The box was slightly under here. However, if we now go a bit up and we delete the box, you can tell that it didn't touch the dirt. So yeah, that's what we wanted. So that's the uh, edges options explained and the replace options. And also the biome options are kind of straightforward, I guess. So say we only want to mark desert areas uh, with, I don't know, something like fill, sand, uh, filter, then it will just do that. So yeah, that's how the uh, filter works. Um, I don't think there's too much more to say about it. I hope some of you find uses for it. I hope you as an enemy find uses for it. And with that being said, I don't think there's any point in going back to Minecraft. So I'm just gonna end the video here. Uh, I hope you liked this video. Even if you didn't, please leave a rating. I'd like to know what you guys think, feedback and such. And yeah, thanks for watching and I hope I will see you in another video.